Howdy y'all, welcome back to Camp Catch. Today we're gonna go off and do some near shore fishing. Um, we, might, we might wander offshore if it's real calm, but the idea is to go hit some rock piles, pull up some snapper, grunt, sheep's head, whatever to fill the box. Um, hadn't had fish in the freezer in months and you know, hadn't done video in months. Pretty much every time I go out, I'll do a video. So as long as it's been since you've seen new content, that's how long it's been since I've had fish in my freezer. Dying for some food, let's go get some. All right, dropping down a shrimp. Gonna see if we can catch a hogfish, which don't usually hook in line for, but looking for food. This is a big fish here. 12% battery left. Okay. We'll make this one and get this fish up pretty soon. Cameraman's a ranked amateur. Whatever this thing is. It's heavy. He's coming up. He's come out of a hole is what it is. I did have him wrapped around something. Now I don't. Now I made up. I made up about 20 feet on him right there, though. Good. Up. I'm making up more ground now. Oh. There you go, man. I think that yeah, might be the biggest one of the day. Oh God. Pull back down. Yeah. Seabird's diving over there. Oh God, whatever this is, it's still got some life to it. All right, y'all, I've been fighting this mystery fish here for about close to an hour now. And when he first grabbed it, he grabbed a live shrimp free line near the surface in 60 feet. So it's kind of an oddball thing. The only thing I can come up with in my head is a cobia, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe I didn't hook a a large red American red snapper and then have a Goliath take the snapper keeping me from getting it up. So whatever it is, it ain't really running much. I mean, here and there, a couple of kicks and it's just, it weighs a ton, whatever this thing is. I mean, I'm, I'm fishing on my smallest rod. I'm fishing on a 3000 series reel, seven, six inch or rod. And I was really just expecting to get, hoping to get mangrove snapper or something, nothing big. You know, I'm using a pretty small circle hook, but I've definitely hooked into something that's more than this setup can really handle. So I'm gonna start getting pretty aggressive with it and uh, just cross my fingers that I don't break it off because after an hour fight, I just want to see it. If it's Kobe, I want to eat it, but if it's anything else, I just want to see it. That's the most he's moved. There we go. Oh, yeah. Whatever just happened, he's coming up now. I bet it's a little tiny fish that's been on the rock the whole time. What do you bet? Oh, no, you know what it is? I've just yanked the fish out of the Goliath's mouth. That could be. Yeah, he's coming up. It's a Kobe. 
Oh no, it's a gag grouper. It was in a rock. Oh my gosh, look at him. It's a gag. Look at that. Ah, hate that I fought him that long. Well, I could have landed that fish no problem, except that he's in a rock. Me too. Eh, not what I was hoping it would be. It would be a keeper. Oh no, a, a Goliath had him. Look at all the marks on him. Yep. All the teeth marks. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, well, that's not what I was fighting. But what I was fighting spit that out. Miracle that hook didn't come out of there. <laughs> Is that a legal fish? No, nah, it would be if it was season. It would be a keeper. If the, se uh -oh. the season was open. Oh yeah. Oh, we got two Look at them all marked up from that Goliath. Look at that. Beautiful fish. See you later. I can't believe he swam as well as he did. Can you believe I landed that fish? After all that? Let's put another free line shrimp out there and see what happens. You on the bottom or are you hooked into something? Oh, you're hooked into something. Oh man, I'm hooked into something too. Not anything big, but it snatched it with some speed. I've got, eat, I've got an edible yeah. grunt. Might as well just pull it in. Meet her there. And I guess that's a sign, right? So, uh, looks like we're gonna get a stop oh, by the man. boat at least. No, 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 get him on hook quick. Here you go. Mom's got a little short red grouper. Yep. No, we know our regs real well. You use the fish rolls app on your smartphone? I have it, but I don't really need to reference it to be honest. We we yeah, we fish a lot. <laughs> we, we know the regs real well. Emails. Well, they do change things a lot, even for me to keep up with. Um, you know, they've increased trip and tail. Um, they've increased cobia under water. Yep, yep, yep. Saw that. Um, oh, this is twenty twenty one. Yeah, but this ain't bad. The nice thing about having this, and this is all your state regs, but when you go to your chart here. Some species mirror the same regulations in federal waters that they do in state waters. Like take sheephead for instance. Yeah. There, there isn't a federal CFR for sheephead. Right. So people say, oh, there's no size limit or possession limit in federal waters. Keep water. 100 pounds on. That's not true. <laughs> right. If you go to um, the little the little asterisk, yeah. Exactly. Which one is it? The square. Yeah. So all the species that have a square, not all of them do, but that one does. State regulations apply in federal waters. Yeah. So that means. Yep. Yeah. So I got a question on regulation that, that no one's been able to answer for me. Gotcha. How do you how do you absolutely identify the difference between a lesser and a greater amberjack? Great question. There's two ways to do it. There's a difference in their uh, gill rakers. Yep. The and there's a eight, the one's got seven. And there's a difference in the dorsal spines. Well, the dorsal the spines is what gets me because I've gotten two. We've we've caught them where we're holding two, and the fish are literally the gill rakers are identical but different count of dorsal spines on each fish. So how do you absolutely, is there a way to absolutely, or how do you guys go off of it? If you're pulling someone over, it's got a couple of, say 22 inch we don't, amber jack. Okay, first of all, way more common to see the graders. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, don't see a lot that. of lessers. And um, 
Usually, hey, for Amberjack, we pretty much go by dorsal spines. When you say, or, or is there another way to tell? To identify it from a lesser, lesser to greater, to because that's really tough. Even for people that fish all the time, it's hard yeah, to tell. It's, uh, it is very hard. Um, there's a different, I forget the number, but the gill rate versus what it's you, right. you find out the number, I forget what it okay. is on top of my head. I did it up. Yeah. To be honest, we just don't keep lessers. <laughs> we, we just assume they're all graders and we just don't keep yeah. them. But uh, uh, we do keep the Almaco. Sure. Well, y'all, had a blast. Didn't catch anything too spectacular, but didn't really expect to either. Filled the box with grunt. Gonna have a good Easter, Easter dinner ahead of us. And uh, I'm just glad I could get back out and make another video.